Don't you feel the defense world where one can spot soldiers on a battlefield will soon be amazingly replaced by the UAVs which will be remotely controlled by the operators? This is the clear canvas of what the future battlefield will look like. And guess what? The defense giant, the US, is excelling at an excellent pace by trying some extraordinary UAVs. These UAVs are not only limited to intelligence and surveillance activities now, but can perform some incredible operations with the ultra-modern technology. One such tailless drone which is grabbing all the attention of the defense world is Northrop Grumman X-47B, which has been serving the US Naval Force for almost a decade now. The age of the drone does not matter if it's serving the purpose efficiently for the Naval Force. Agree or not? What is the unique featureization of this X-47B, which is specially designed for aircraft carrier operations? Since when has the US added this excellent drone to its fleet? Are there any other such extraordinary drones owned by the US Navy? Let's buckle up to jot some fascinating things about this X-47B. A tailless Northrop Grumman X-47B was designed and developed by the American defense technology company Northrop Grumman, especially for aircraft carrier-based operations. Initially, the design of this demonstration unmanned combat aerial vehicle began under DARPA's JUCAS program, but gradually it shifted under United States Navy's unmanned combat air system demonstration program. This tiny but powerful drone can be controlled by a wireless link handheld device, which is operated through the flight deck by the sailor. The flight deck operator and deck operator work together to place the drone in the desired location on the deck during the takeoff. Once set in its desired location, this tailless jet-powered X-47B can carry out semi-autonomous operations and interestingly, this drone is also capable of aerial refueling. This X-47B is the first unmanned aircraft that can be catapulted from an aircraft carrier. However, it is said to be the variant of the Pegasus X-47A, which was developed back in 2001 on the USAF and USN programs. In some areas, there is a difference like landing gears. In this X-47B, the nose wheel has two wheels for a tricycle-type landing, while the Pegasus variant had only one. But the main gears have single wheels in X-47B, and those are powerful enough to be catapulted in a really short stretch on the aircraft carrier. The development journey of this unmanned aircraft X-47B was not a smooth one. Once started in 2005, was halted in midway because of some issues. Before diving deeper to know everything about the extraordinary creation by the US, make sure you subscribe to our channel to know more about incredible drones and defense equipment that will revolutionize the defense system. However, the development began soon, and in 2007, two of the prototypes of this amazing X-47B were ready for demonstration under the designated program. The core aim of designing and developing this unmanned aircraft for aircraft carrier operations was to develop the potential future carrier-compatible unmanned system so as to not involve soldiers in riskier situations on the battlefield. Its blended wing body and lower radar footprint make it best suited for unmanned aerospace missions. This unmanned aircraft, X-47B, is 38.2 feet in length and has a wingspan of about 62.1 feet. This semi-automated aircraft is capable of carrying 4,500 pounds of weapons. One fascinating part about this aircraft is that the X-47B can fold its wings when not needed, which will eventually lower the wingspan from 38.2 to 30.9 feet. This feature is highly beneficial for storage facilities, as with the compact structure of aircraft, there'll be more space on the deck. The crucial part of this design is the automation of the control system of the drone, specifically for the X-47B flight control system, is autonomous and it operates through a hybrid version of the global positioning system. An operator on the flight deck can pre-program the mission on the aircraft and as scheduled, the drone can complete the mission. This automation and pre-programming of the mission are possible because of a list of sensors fitted in the drone. Some of the sensors are named electro-optics, ground moving target indicator, synthetic aperture radar, inverse SAR, maritime moving target indicators, electronic support measures, and the list continues. These different types of sensors are designated for specific roles like reconnaissance, intelligence, and surveillance, and additionally have sufficient space for weapons systems. However, the demonstration units or the prototypes of X-47B are not installed with payloads, but the future ones will have sufficient payloads. X-47B was the first aircraft to create a world record in the defense world for carrying out air refueling operations in 2015. To carry out this autonomous air refueling, UCAS-D has fitted a boom receptacle mechanism in the aircraft. 
The first ever air refueling operation was a successful one when X-47B received fuel from the Omega's Boeing 707 tanker, and thanks to its probe and drogues method which made it possible for X-47B, usually such a complex mechanism is only spotted in manned aircraft like FA-18 supermodel. The next commendable part about this unmanned aircraft is its excellent engine. The modern drone is powered by a Pratt & Whitney F100 BW220U engine and exhaust system. This engine can be spotted in a fuselage to maintain the stealthy characteristics of the aircraft. However, its exhaust system is situated at the back of the UAV. Because of its powerful engine and exhaust system, X-47B can fly at a maximum altitude of 40,000 feet, can speed up at high subsonic speed of 0.45 m, and has a commendable range of about 2100 nanometers. It's been more than a decade since the X-47B was well structured and tested. The structural proof testing was completed in 2009, followed by the structural proof testing, the aircraft was being navigated to Edwards Air Force Base for conducting its specific flight testing. As it was specially designed for aircraft carrier operations, it was also tested in the USS Harry S. Truman CVN-75 for the first time in 2012. This sea phase testing of the unmanned aircraft included tests for launching, operating and recovering capabilities in the area of 50 nanometers. All the tests, be it carrier launch, recovery and deck handling tests were carried out successfully and completed by the US Naval Force in 2012. The next crazy drone system, which will soon be launched in the defense world by a unique collaboration between the Israeli Directorate of Defense Research and Development and the US Combating Terrorism Technical Support Office Nation, is a drone that will function on gaming technology. Sounds absurd, but this is the truth. It is a human-centric, full-sensory mind drone, a Wolverine Gen 2 drone. These unmanned systems are versatile, flimsy, and consume very less power compared to other small unmanned systems. These powerful drones can be specially used as shields to ground troops, especially when they are on a threatening mission. This system will be based on an augmented reality device and a single-handed controller where the user has to wear goggles to see through the lens of the drones and perform complex tasks remotely. Using this easy and most advanced technology, an operator can single-handedly knock down the UAV threat. Previously, this AR system was only used for gaming purposes, but now the use has been extensively enhanced and soon there will be news saying drones operate through insane AR systems. Additionally, they are looking for kinetic solutions that will eventually revolutionize the entire defense world. The Skylord drones, on which the testing is done, enable it to fly during the incoming threat. However, there is some guidance needed entirely visually or by command and control system. They want to entirely automate these systems, hand them over to machines and replace humans. Engineers are planning to automate the system to the extent to which piloting the drone will also not need humans. The best and most appealing part of this Wolverine Gen 2 drone is that it can be operated by any individual even if he or she does not have any flight experience. With minimal or even no prior training, operators can perform precise remote tasks by operating intuitively in the field with complete autonomy. The drone is installed with unique eccentric machine interface technology developed by x which amazingly signifies sensory awareness and is a perfect blend of super advanced virtual and augmented reality technologies and also advanced machine learning flight algorithms. One can easily operate such a complex system by using wearable lightweight systems and with some natural hand gesture recognition controllers. The autonomous drone can be operated in remote environments, especially without any physical risks. These two drones provide a clear canvas of the US's plan to upgrade its defense fleet and revolutionize the defense world with ultra-modern technology embedded combat weapons. So what are your thoughts on the US trying its hands on some extraordinary unmanned aircraft? Do other nations need to fill the US space towards adopting some extraordinary weaponry? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And before we wrap up, if you're interested in other fascinating things about combat drones, then make sure to check out our video on Ukraine to test its newest combat drone which pressurized the Russians. You can go check this out after the video. And if you enjoyed watching it, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. See you in the next video.